PGTA is basically testing embryos for underlying chromosomal abnormalities. The simple answer to that is through selection. How PGTA or chromosomal testing improve that is that because we know that only embryos that are chromosomally normal can result into a healthy baby. So by being able to select embryos that are chromosomally normal, we are improving the chance of having a healthy baby or a live birth, as we call it. And in the same time, we are lowering the risk of miscarriage. And also, by improving the selection through IVF, we are lowering the number of attempts that women will require to do to be able to achieve that successful outcome. Yes, of course, I mean, this is part of it, because if you think of it, if you are able to improve selection, and that can be done through testing the chromosomes of the embryos, you're reducing the number of attempts of fertility treatment that you will go through. And by reducing the number of attempts that you require to produce a successful outcome, you are reducing the overall cost of IVF. Of course, testing of the embryos add extra to the cost of, of, of the treatment. But when you look at it in the long term, that's the most cost effective way of doing IVF.